we are going to come up with a formula for the integral of 1 over x squared plus a squared dx. And then of course, we don't want a to be 0, otherwise we get just like 1 over x squared, we can just do the power rule for that. Okay, anyways, we know we have the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared dx, which is the same as, I can flip this, integral of 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. All this will give you the inverse tangent x plus c. And now let's see, how can we make a connection between something that we wanted to know versus something that we did know? We can only handle when we have 1 plus x squared or something squared on the denominator. But here we have a squared. And sometimes you have to be dealing with 1 over x squared plus 9, for example. So let's see how can we handle that. We don't want the a squared, though. We know how to handle this when it's 1. So what we can do is, a couple ways to do it. We can factor out the a squared on the denominator, but my personal favorite is, look at this fraction, and let's divide everything by a squared. Okay, and that's about it for me to do. Okay, it's kind of like multiply the top and bottom by 1 over a squared. And let's see what do we have over there. 1 over a squared, which is going to be a number, I can factor that out. So we can look at this as 1 over a squared, and then the integral of, we just have a 1 on the top now, over x squared over a squared, I can put that as x over a, and then to a second power word, like this. And then a squared over a squared, which is going to be plus 1, dx. Okay? So now you see that this is very similar to that because we have plus 1. And I can just do some u substitution and then we can make the form being the same. And I'm going to let u equals to the inside function, which is x over a, and then we will see that du will be, well, the, this is just 1 over a, okay? So 1 over a dx. Remember, this is not a quotient rule situation. a is just a number. And then to solve for dx, we know dx, I can multiply both sides by a, so dx will be a times du. And now let's take this into the u world to see what we get. We still have 1 over a squared on the, uh, in the front, and then integral, this is going to be 1 over x over a, which is u, and then we have that squared, plus 1. And dx is a times du. So I write down a right here, and then we have du right here. And of course, a is a number. I can take this a to the front. So I'm talking about a over a squared, and then the integral of 1 over u squared plus 1. So u squared plus 1 du. And now what? a over a squared, of course, we can simplify that to be 1 over a. And this is something that we can do which is the inverse tangent of u. So we know this is going to be the inverse tangent of u. But what's u? u is equal to x over a. So finally, we know um, the formula for that will be just 1 over a times the inverse tangent, u is x over a. And we are done, so plus c. And this, is, this shows you how we can change something that you wanted to know into the form that we already know. Usually you have to do some algebra and uh, some u substitutions, and this is one example for that, and this is it. And you can remember that formula, and it's going to be pretty helpful when you are doing the um, integral with a lot of fractions.